The effects of inhomogeneity on the absorption of primary and scatter radiation dose is quite complex. The use of 3D planning and dose calculation algorithms have improved these inhomogeneity dose calculations. The examples that I am going to show you are the most basic forms of hand calculations of dose inhomogeneities. We're going to start with a lung example. If we look at a lung homogeneity factor of 0.25 and we look at this beam entering to the isocenter point, we're going to calculate the equivalent depths. So if we have two centimeters of tissue, you're still going to have two centimeters. Six centimeters of lung is actually going to be 1.5 centimeters because you have six centimeters times your 0.25 homogeneity factor. And four centimeter tissue will still be four centimeters. So your effective calculation depth is 7.5 centimeters with homogeneity factor versus 12 centimeters that would have been used had you not taken into account the homogeneity factor. If we look at a case with hard bone, hard bone has a homogeneity factor of 1.7. So if we go through 3 centimeters of tissue, you still have 3 centimeters. 4 centimeters of bone uh, through hard bone is actually going to be 6.8 centimeters. And then your 2 centimeters of tissue is still going to be 2 centimeters. So your effective depth is 11.8 centimeters with homogeneity factor versus 9 centimeters you would have used initially to do your calculation. So you can see how the use of homogeneity factors um, in calculations are more accurate than not using them. However, the 3D dose calculation algorithms that are used today in treatment planning are much more accurate than the hand calculations.